being, being pink guy because you can't hear. It is funny because there are a few interviews where you'll see him, he'll like be doing something and then he'll like burst out with like a pink guy moment. It's <laughs> really funny. Yeah. Uh. Uh. I hate the way they have those there because it's really annoying to try and get them. Although, I could always do this. Never mind. So I'm not going to sit here and say that there would be no, uh, absolutely no, um, pirating if companies would re-release more of their stuff or, you know, do, do it better and stuff. Uh -huh. But if companies re-release their stuff, there wouldn't be, not many people would have as much of a need to pirate. You know, I mean, obviously there's people who don't want to pay for stuff, but like, if they at least had a decent port of things and they would re-release more of their things, you know, as long as it's not too much trouble. I mean, there, there are going to be times when it's just going to be really hard or not worth the company trying to re-release some things. But when they just get so, like, you know... I was just thinking about stuff like, you know, because like, I, heard, I heard about it in a stream one time. I was like, this is very true. Not as many people would want to pirate stuff or get, like, you know, ROMs and all that stuff if the companies just make decent, re-release decent ports of games and stuff. And not chart and, and you know not like not do it in a way where um, you know you have to pay so much a month and that was awesome that was really awesome. What did you do? I just went out of bounds there and lost a Ow. life because I was going so fast and I went over the edge. Oh just... my gosh! I don't know if I've ever done that before. I was just curious though, to see what would happen. Do that. I was just curious to see. If you could do it, and then it's like, oh, you can. That's really funny, though. If this were Nintendo, you wouldn't be able to do that. It would have been perfectly fine. But if it was there and it was Nintendo, then it was a feature. <laughs> yeah, I remember. I remember we were just kind of slowly seeing people slowly turn against Nintendo, or seeing them lose more and more hardcore fans. Because, like, or more and more defenders. Just, just, or get, getting less and less defenders, I should say, like that. Fewer and fewer. Whatever. Um, you say fewer when you have some new quantity, and then you say less and more when you don't have a quantity. Like, you would say, I have less money, but then you say, I have fewer dollars. Anyway, um, so yeah, so like, it's just kind of funny seeing everyone just kind of lose, uh, lose some faith in Nintendo and stuff, given their track record. Because, like, I could see it even a little before, just a little before the Wii U hit the scene and disappointed people. Um, I could see, start to see, like, guys, they're not that great. I was like, they, re they release stuff at the same price as things that shouldn't be the same price, you know. Isn't this the wildest skateboard park you've ever seen? Whoa! You bastard a few tricks. You... Cause like, you think about games like... Let's start so our, I started noticing it whenever, um... You had games like, you know, the new Super Mario games on, on Wii and stuff, and like... How they were, they, they were still like the same price now, mm -hmm. as... You can roll they were still the same price when they came out, just about, and um, but then like game games like much bigger games like Uncharted, are, are, are ended up becoming like five dollars just a few years later. So it's just like, wait, what was I supposed to do? I don't know. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Was that it? What was I doing, Hunter? This. Press the X button. Oh, left or right, I see. <coughs> Did I do it, Hunter? I don't know. <laughs> mm -hmm. Now let's see you pull up clip. 
No! Exactly like roles, only... But then the voice they had chose for Hunter in like the in the Reignited Trilogy, he just sounds too much like he's trying to be Sonic. Wow, you must be a natural. Wow, we. Music's really struggling there. Now that was a nine hundred. I... Now that was a nine thousand. I don't know. Mastered. Coraline. Hmm? Oh, yeah, Caroline. Caroline. Sweet Caroline. Oh. I bet you I don't know. Hey, Hunter, do I get many points if I go out of bounds? <laughs> totally. Totally. Just jump at the right moment. I don't know. And then press the X button. Raymundo! <laughs> so disrespectful to call your parents by their name. Oh, I know, just, just... But they were the cool kids, I don't know. Whoa! No, it's the big game! Oh, yeah. But the big game! All I did was murder this person, now I gotta to miss the turn, big... turn, uh, in my cock out angles and stuff. Oh, I know. Well, I was doing that earlier. Come from. Awesome. Dance where the real points come from, Daniel. I just want to make sure you understood. Dancing. Dance. Dang it. I All I'm saying the is, the worst, uh, worst video game characters out there are ones whose lives are all about dancing. Yeah. Case in point, that one guy from Pokemon X and Y. <laughs> he was the worst. Oh, he was the worst type of person. The worst type of person. I figure he actually started the bad guys in uh, the Sun and Moon games. Oh, yeah? Because they all dance when you talk to them. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. I mean, that only makes sense, right? Yeah. Ow. Ouchies. Wow, way to re way to repeat your moves like a piece of crap. Oh no. Oh. Uh... Why do I keep doing that? No. <laughs> well, okay. All right, I guess. Remundo. <laughs> I don't know, just... I mean, it's so dumb. That series is so dumb, but that's what makes it charming. Rocket Power was, uh... fascinating. Yeah. What about the whale that was... that was... Yeah, because occasionally physics just gets hardcore broken in that show. <laughs> like, there's just an episode where a darn alien just, like... Comes and takes a whale. Yes, comes... Takes a whale up out of the ocean early in the episode. Not early, it. actually, it was near the end, but yeah. Yeah, but, uh, but it, like, puts it back a little bit later. <laughs> Suck up. Oh, no. Oh, there we go. Okay, well, that didn't give me that many points. Do some but, hey. sideways twists while you're No! Uh, you do. And I was trying to do that, but the game was like, no, you didn't press it in time for us to react to it, so. 
Huh. Boy, music, you sure do suck right now. Need the set of the disc. I don't know. <laughs> Boy, Bootleg Mufasa, I sure wish I never invited you over. <laughs> this I'm gonna do a mega ultra combo do a like a twisted and then a regular and like alternate did I do it <laughs> yeah I can't believe it how did you get so I can't believe it how did you do it my course record Wow anyway I guess I should give you this other egg I found I was going to keep it for a pet but I can't get it to half. Okay, here's what I've never understood. Oh boy. He's a part of the mission to get all of these eggs. But he's like, yeah, I'm just gonna like not help you collect them. Screw you. <laughs> you can go for the course record now if you want. Well, what if I don't want to? I can't remember if you get an egg for that or not. No. Okay, that's right, you don't. Uh, you don't. <laughs> You just caught a rescue the wolf. Ooh. Okay. You okay. got a rescue the wolf. Okay. Well, after I do these two missions, I think we'll call it a day. Well, it is a day that ends in a Y, so I think we can. Uh huh. Uh, yuck. I still have a meme that's goofy, and it's like, I'll have to do it again. <laughs> well, I wanna, I wanna yuck you up. Yeah. <laughs> yuck. I'm ready to patrol the towers and the perimeter. I'm ready to patrol the city of Townsville. The city of Townsville. Well, remember it was... wasn't there a town of Citiesville in one episode? Yeah, I they really had to move and like it was terrible. Yeah. The professor said something about how the people he worked with call him Squarehead or something, because he has a square head. He did have quite a rectangular head. Sure. Do you not remember what the professor looks like? Yeah. Professor Samurai Jack. Professor Dad. <laughs> Let's see here. Oh, that guy. Well, you know, I'm just kind of here. You're doing great. <coughs> Ooga. That's his name. Let's see here. Huh. Um, For thousands of years I lay dormant. For thousands of years I lay dormant. Or, For thousands of years I lay dormant. <laughs> Who dare disturbs my... <laughs> They stopped doing those, didn't they? Didn't they? Yeah. Stop? Yeah. That's sad. But eventually you gotta move on from, you know, just like... Well, you're actually a creator of stuff like that. You're just like, man. You, you eventually get to a point where you're like, man, I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> it's quite comical for me. Oh yeah, I guess I already got that. Yeah, when a lot of the areas look the same, it it kind of it's kind of irritating to try and find everything. 
See, what I like about Spyro, like even the first game, like, you know, the second game and stuff, this one you actually have the, uh, you actually have, you have the, the ability right away, like you don't know about it, but like, it's kind of a secret on that one, but at least it's there. That's one way it makes it better than this one, um, but, uh, <laughs> uh, but anyway, um, one thing, one big problem I have with big collectathons is like the the tiny collectibles you have to get to to fully complete the game, and um, like when 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 you have to find every one, you have to look search through every nook and uh, every cook and nanny, and um, it uh, it, I don't know, like. When it becomes ridiculously hard to find everything, I feel like that's a bit overkill. What I like about Spyro is that, like, one thing is the levels are generally structured to where they're not as difficult to find everything, but also when, in, like, the second game and, and at some point in this game, <coughs> you get, um, you can eventually get, uh, I'm gonna try to say here, uh, you can search for the little collectibles optionally. Just have sparks kind of point you in the right direction. It makes it a lot less painful. Uh. And also a lot more painless. I guess that one was too far away so it just kind of disappeared. <laughs> like, I know people argue that, like, Spyro 3 has, like, better level design because, like, it kind of loops. Like, it, it'll open up a door or something, or open something up, and yeah. you can go to the end of the level and stuff. But, like I said, the biggest problem is a lot of some of the challenges they want you to do. Uh, they get... There's a point where it's just not fun anymore, and you know I'd rather I'd rather do the uh, backtracking in Spyro 2, which don't get me wrong is a problem, but I'd rather do that than some of the challenges here. <laughs> anyway, uh, let me get these, and now I'll kill this. Uga. Uga chaka, uga chaka, uga, 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 is it fight or stop the stealing? Oh, you know, I actually can't remember. Because I know there's another song that says, I can't fight this feeling anymore, you know. I can't stop this feeling. I went ahead and skipped it because, uh, I mean, look at him, he's like, yeah. Well, we get copyrighted for that music and for some reason. You know, it's kind of sad, though, uh... It's, the song is called This Is Not Copyrighted by MP3. Yeah. We still get copyrighted. Yeah. Oh, uh, YouTube would find a way. Apparently YouTube has actually given out millions of, of copyright strikes to people who actually actually wouldn't... Or you're like, they've actually given out a lot of copyright strikes even though it was undeserved. Well, what's interesting is when they give out copyright strikes to the original version of the song. Oh, I know. <laughs> But also, like, um, there's also, uh, what am I trying to think of, um, shoot, uh, there's one thing that I was trying to think of, uh, oh yeah, um, what's kind of sad is, while they definitely have the right to do this, uh, I think Crush 40 songs are starting to be copyrighted now, or it's starting to be, like, you know, giving out more strikes than, like, because, like, most Sonic music would actually, like, even songs, you know, you could have them all play all you want, and it's just like, oh, well, uh, no, that's fine. 
you know, it's free promotion, as most music could see it as, but instead they're like, we want you to pay to play, to hear it. If someone's trying to get money off of just re-releasing that, just releasing that song in a video, then that's one thing, but like, trying to get money and like not pay the original creator, that's one thing, but like, to like copyright someone for basically free, you know, like someone might hear the song and go, hey, I think I want to pay for this song, or you know, pay to hear this. No, instead it's like you have to pay to hear it, you know. So anyway, um, like I said, they technically have the right to do that, it's just mean. But, like, for a while, Crush 40 wouldn't care. If, you know, well, I mean, whoever's involved in, in doing that stuff, you know, they wouldn't care if the music was, uh, if someone used their music. But, uh, now it seems to be a. And now he's dead, and I, I blame people who, who quote unquote destroy the environment. I don't know. Thinking back, what would I really be wanting to call my favorite Christmas gift ever? Maybe my first Game Boy Color. Maybe my first uh, lightsaber. Or, uh. This uh, commercialism, Christmas. Perhaps, <laughs> perhaps the year we got our PS2. That was a pretty good year. I can't say my SP because we actually got our SPs a couple of months after Christmas. Oh, because, yeah, we did. Uh, our, our mom bought our SPs because she realized the amount of money we were using in batteries, she actually would have saved money by getting an SP. Yeah. And I remember she got a bundle that came with, like, special SP headphones and... Yeah. Well, those are long since gone, but hey. Yeah, they weren't really good. And they were interesting because they were those headphones that, like, looped around the back of your ear. And yeah. they were separate, so you didn't have to have the headpiece, like <laughs> the, the fan. Yeah. And you know what? I still have that same SP of mine that was from many years ago. I traded mine off and I have a SpongeBob one now. Well, well... Yeah, it's superior. Well, I mean... I had to replace the battery. Excuses is to try and say you screwed up. Uh, uh, <laughs> scraping the bottom of the barrel. I sold my Game Boy Micro to get a regular SP. Because the Micro can't attach to the SP because Nintendo being fresh and dumb. So if you ever want to trade between two Game Boy Micros, that's all you can do. You cannot trade between the Micro and an SP without an adapter that costs a lot of money. Alternatives including include trading between an SP and a Game Boy Player. Oh yeah, I need to I need to see on that. Let's see here. Hold on, pupper. Hold on just a moment, a little pupper. Little little pupperoni. Tiny pup. Ah, <laughs> oh, shoot. Aw, oh, crap. Aw, oh, Christmas crackers. What? <laughs> Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Prolong. The long exposure to the orb of confusion will give you Confusion. There we go. Thank you. <laughs> you guys just barking at the wall there. Oh yeah, it's it's the wall you're supposed to break through, which is funny. You're supposed to chase those things. I can't get it. Hey! 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 It's Franklin! Coming over to play! Oh! I don't like that sound. It's a pupper being hurt. <laughs> it probably deserved it. <laughs> For running away. Just so used to be right for dog or dog runs away, you beat it. <laughs> Jeez. Jeez. Dang it. 
Wait, why can't you just see Saturn up there? Why not? It's so close to like the gravitational pull so it starts sucking the planet in if you're close enough to see it like that. <laughs> Where? There. Hey, Sega, I bet that'll do really well. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, they they shot themselves in the foot with the Saturn. I mean, they made some bad decisions before that too, but like, they kind of shot themselves in the foot with. Uh, even if it had released some, it's around the time it was originally supposed to, I feel like it still wouldn't have done as well. Would have done better, but it wouldn't have done as well as just like PlayStation. And... What they should have done was released uh, instead of the Sega CD. They should have had a completely new console that could also play Genesis games. When you see a ladder, a wall. Yeah. And uh, not worried about the 32x or anything, and just basically had it be powerful and I don't know. I'm wondering though what what the first system was. Uh, not counting computers, I wonder what the first system was that allowed you to have that allowed backwards compatibility. The Atari 5200, maybe. I can't remember that if that could play. The 7800 could. 7800 could, but like, I can't... And it was contemporary to the, uh... Nintendo... Entertainment... System. Yeah. Well... Oh. <laughs> but anyway, folks, that's it for today. Uh, next time, we'll be going through this level, and, uh, we'll see if I go a solo act or not, but, uh... <laughs> but until next time... Uh, uh, like and subscribe and, uh, do all that stuff, and... Have a Merry Christmas, even though this is going to be released after Christmas. And Andrew's going to give the final word. Uh, sometimes the universe seems like it ain't like it be. <laughs> you know, I was going to say, but it do. <laughs>